This Math SAT Level 1 video from MathOnDVD.com and MathTutor.biz is one of 150 tutorial videos in this three test set. The set has three DVDs, each with almost two hours of video time, and three test papers, each of the test papers with 50 questions. For details and more free videos, please visit Math on DVD or MathTutor.biz. Math SATs, question 42. The area of this parallelogram PQRS is one of these, so we have to find the area of this parallelogram. Now I hope you appreciate that in fact a parallelogram is two triangles. So if we split that down there, we will get two triangles of exactly the same size. We call them congruent triangles. So the area of a parallelogram is twice the area of a triangle. Now what's the area of a triangle? Well we could use half the base times the height for the area of our triangle. So if we doubled that, the area of a parallelogram, which shorthand is written like that, is double that. So the space times the height. However, there's another formula for the area of a triangle, and that's half AB sine C. So the area of the parallelogram is twice that. In other words, the area of the parallelogram is in fact AB sine C. So if you know this formula, the area of a parallelogram, AB is in fact these two sides here, and the sine of the angle in between those two sides is what I'm talking about for that. So that works out the area of this parallelogram. Using the calculator, we need to make sure it's in degree mode, which it is, so it's 6 eighths of 48 multiplied by the sine of 150 degrees which gives me the answer 24. So the answer to question 42 is in fact strangely the two numbers round the other way. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's go back though. If you don't know that formula what you would have to do is to find the height of the parallelogram. You know what the base is? The base is that 8. So we can use the word base but we need to work out this height here. So if you don't know this formula, that's 150 degrees, that's 30 degrees. So we can find this distance here by using the sine ratio of sine 30 equals whatever that is. Let's call it x, shall we? Or h for height, couldn't I? So if you don't know that formula, you could still approach the question that way. More information about the DVDs that are available from mathondvd.com.